Hi folks! In this video, we are going to see how to subscribe to the Versta NextGen Firewall Cloud SaaS product from the AWS Marketplace and register with the Versta portal. The first step is to log into your AWS account using your credentials. I have already logged into my AWS account. Since I have already visited the AWS Marketplace, it is showing in the Recently Visited section. If you want to access the AWS Marketplace service, search for AWS Marketplace from this page. When you click on the AWS Marketplace, you will land on the page where you will find the Manage Subscriptions link. You have to click on Manage Subscriptions. This will show your existing subscriptions. Since I don't have any subscriptions, it is showing as empty. Now click on Discover Products. Here you can search for Versa Networks or Versa Cloud NGFW SaaS. This section describes the Versa Cloud NGFW SaaS. This is the exact product you want to choose. This will lead you to the Versa Cloud Next Gen Firewall SaaS product page. Here you can see the overview of the Versa Cloud Next Gen Firewall and the pricing details. You can click on Show More to expand and see the pricing, legal terms and conditions, usage support, and reviews. The price mentioned here is only for internal use and for testing purposes. Once the product is published to the public, the actual prices will be revealed. You should always visit this AWS Marketplace Versa Cloud Mixed Gen Firewall page for accurate pricing details. Now click on Purchase and you will see the Subscribe button at the bottom. Clicking on the Subscribe button will take you to the Versa registration page, where you will enter your enterprise information and email. This will allow you to log into the Versa portal and add the license for Next Gen Firewall. Clicking Subscribe will indicate that your subscription is in progress. You can now set up the account on the vendor's website. To go to the vendor's website, just click on Set Up Your Account. This will take you to the Versa portal. Here you enter your enterprise name, which is your organization or company name. I am entering the organization name as Firewall1. This is my organization name. Ensure you enter the correct email so that you will receive the OTP. This is to verify if your email ID is valid. Once I submit, I will receive the one-time password at this email. I just received the six-digit OTP, which I'm going to enter now. As soon as you enter the OTP, you will see a prompt to check your email. You will receive an email in two to three minutes with an option to set your password. After setting your password, you will be able to log into the Versa portal, where you can have the license and deploy the cloud instance. Once deployed, you will be able to see the instance in your AWS account. Let's wait for two to three minutes. Once I've received the email, we will set the password. We have received the email. Now let's go to the email. Now you can see the welcome email with an option to set your password. To get started, please set your password on the portal. Clicking on Proceed to Password will redirect you to set the password. Now I'm setting the password. As soon as you set the password, you will be able to log into the Versa portal. Anytime you want to go to the Versa portal, you should always click on Set up your account from AWS. This will take you to the login page. It says you have already subscribed. Clicking on Login will take you to the login page, where you will use the email you registered with. Now we are in the Versa portal where you will be able to add the license and deploy. After deploying, you can launch the CloudFormation template. This will create the instance in AWS. After that, you will be able to configure the Cloud instance from the Configure section. Since we don't have any license, it is showing as empty. In the next video, we will see how to add a license, deploy, and launch the CloudFormation template. Thank you.
Hi folks! In this video, we're going to show you how to add a license, deploy that Versa NextGen Firewall Cloud SaaS, and launch the CloudFormation template. Once you land on the Versa portal, you'll start in the onboarding section. You'll always begin in the onboarding section when you initially create the enterprise. Here, you'll see the four steps. Av license and deploy, launch cloud formation template, configure, and monitor. Here, I already have a few licenses added. As you can see, everything is shown in green. If you don't have any licenses, they'll appear in gray. Let's proceed. Now, if I click on Add License, you'll need to enter the instance name you want in AWS. Here, I'm entering NGFW Instance 1. You'll have the option to choose the AWS region. If you want an US East or US West, you can select any region. Here, I'm choosing US East 1. The account number is fetched from your AWS account. In this account, the instance will be created, and the license type is Next Gen Firewall. You can choose the number of cores, either 4, 8, or 16. Pricing will vary based on the number of cores you select. You can check the pricing reference here. For example, 8 cores costs $1.32 per hour, while 16 cores costs $2.64 per hour. Prices are subject to change, so always check the AWS product page for the latest pricing. The license tier is always professional. Now let's deploy the license. Deploying the license will only deploy it in the Versa portal. The deployment task will progress, and you can click to see the status. Once the deployment is successful, you'll receive a success message here, and then we can launch the CloudFormation template. Let's wait for the deployment to complete. The deployment is successful. If you click on View More, it will show the deployment status. You can see the deployment status is marked as successful. Now I'm going to launch the CloudFormation template. Clicking on Download Launch brings up the Launch CloudFormation template, where you can click Launch. Clicking Launch will take you to AWS. Make sure you are logged in to your AWS account from the same browser, or it will redirect you to the login page so you can sign in with your AWS credentials. Since I'm already logged in, I'm taken to the CloudFormation template page where we'll create the stack. The stack name is fetched from your enterprise name and the instance name you entered while creating a license in the Versa portal. It will have predefined VPC, IP subnets, and other information needed to communicate with the Versa portal and AWS instance. Here, select the key pair you want to use for this instance. Please don't change any other data. I'm selecting my key pair and then creating the stack. Creating the stack will initiate the instance creation, and you can monitor the status from the Versa portal. Once the stack creation is successful, it will initiate instance creation where the Versa OS will be installed using the AMI image. You'll be able to monitor the status in the Versa portal. Now you can see the license we deployed, and it's waiting for AWS to respond. Currently, the creation is in progress. When creation is successful, you'll be able to see the instance in the EC2 instance section. Let's wait for this task to complete. The stack creation is now successful. This initiates AWS instance creation. Once the instance is created, you'll see the status here. Now let's go to EC2 service and click on Instances to check the instance creation status. You can see the instance creation has started and is initializing. This will install the AMI associated with the Versa Cloud NextGen Firewall SaaS, and you'll be able to monitor the status from the Versa portal. Now we can track AWS instance creation from the Versa portal. This process will take about 10 to 20 minutes. We'll need to wait for that. Once the instance creation is successful, 
you'll receive a response within a few minutes stating that the appliance creation has started. Now you can see that Versa is trying to connect with the instance created in AWS. This step will push the Versa Cloud Firewall configuration to the AWS instance. Once done, you can add your own firewall configuration and push it from the Versa portal. You'll see a success message in a few minutes. The instance will be up and running. While the instance is already running, we're just pushing our default next-gen firewall configuration to it. Now, Versa Portal is trying to connect with the AWS instance. This indicates Versa Portal is syncing the configuration with the AWS instance. Once this step is complete, it will show as activated. And you'll be able to configure the Versa next-gen firewall from this instance's configuration. For further configuration details, check out our video on the Versa YouTube channel, which covers firewall setup and more. If you click on Task, you can monitor the activation progress. The activation is now successful. To view your instance's configuration, you can see it here. You can add firewall rules from here and publish them so this configuration will be pushed to your AWS instance. If you want to remove or deactivate this firewall instance, you can do it here. Deactivating or undeploying the instance from the Versa portal will only remove it from the Versa portal. It won't remove it from AWS EC2 service. To fully remove the instance from AWS, go to EC2 and terminate the instance to delete it. Thank you.